Well, my sketch box is here. And that almost looks like my bird, Bernie. But let's begin. Welcome back guys. It's another Sketchbox adventure and I'm just super stoked. I've been waiting for this for a while so let's open it up. Seriously, that almost looks like my bird Bernie because of this section right through here. It really just kind of looks like him. If you don't know who Bernie is, that's my European starling. Very gorgeous little boy or girl. We're still figuring that out this year. So, if you don't know what Sketchbox is, it's a monthly subscription box. This is the uh, $40 some box and I've been doing this for years. I love these guys. Highly recommend. I love them. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So this month, they have done something slightly different. They put something else in here. Um, I'm just gonna open this up and let you guys see it. So they have a giveaway that they're gonna be doing and I'm gonna try to get it. Uh, so I'm very stoked about this. This is, this is new. Normally they have just a little card. So we'll see if they still have the card and it's just an added. I don't know. So let's see what we got in here. Huh? Oh, yes, more pants. All right, let me see if I can find one of my pants. All right, first time I ever dealt with a pan was from Sketchbox, and uh, this is from a previous box. So now we got more colors. Ah, I'm gonna put this aside because we might use it to go along with this box, depending on what I decide. Ooh. Do you hear Bernie? <laughs> I love that bird. So yeah, like, I love Sketchbox as much as I love Bubble Wrap. So we got some more pans. We have Fabric Castell. Oh, we do it. Oh, look at that. That is so pretty. I love moths. Alex, Luisa. Oh, Australia, an Aussie. Look at that. That is gorgeous. I've been to Australia. I would love to go back. Um, soft applicators. We got also extras. Just not one. We also get the extras. That's pretty cute. And then the paper. Deep, deep block. Ooh, and our sketchbox sticker. Because I am a sticker hound. Yep. Alright, let's see what these pencils are. I think they're just like colored pencils. Use these wax pencils to sketch in your initial concept, clean up edges, add texture to your pastel artwork. So let's open this up. We get like a makeup spongy on top of these spongies and more of these kinds of spongies. I love the little case, that's cool. I like that. Oh, I wonder, will I'll do it. Please tell me. Will it fit on top? Or is it we take off the lid and then we put it like Ah, I see. Alright, well. Once we don't want that on there, and we want this. Oh, we can't separate them. Alright, cool. Well, stubby learned something new. Yeah! Oh, okay, well, that's cool. Let's do some swatchy swatchy because it's now swatchy swatchy time. Look at that little sticker. Yeah. And this comes with even more information about the paper. That's kind of nice. And you can look at all the different colors you can get. That's pretty cool. So let's learn about it. Let's see. Um, can be used on paper, canvas, wood panels. All oh, those are primers, never mind. Smooth, 20 colors, medium, 20 colors, rough, clear only. Papers are sheets of acid free, 300 
I guess grams, hot press European watercolor paper screen printed with Art Spectrum Color Fix Primer making a 340 gram pastel paper. The range has 20 light fast colors available in both medium and smooth. Superb substrate for pastel and most mediums. Okay, good, 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 good. good. So, look, they are pretty thick. And you can feel it. It's like, it's like right in there. Oh, there it is. See? Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Focus on my finger. There we go. Yeah, it's, you can see the coating on it. So this will be our test. These are nice. Let's see how this works. I'm just curious. These are definitely wax. And then some ears. Got some cute little shoes. He's just gonna be a head. <laughs> that's adorable. <laughs> I think that's probably my favorite. Um, I think that is by my far my favorite little pre-sketch I've done so far for testing out stuff. Alright, let's test out these. Pen pastel soft tools. I'm having a heck of time opening up, but we're getting there. Let's not forget so guys. So open it up see how we can so they just pop in and out like show Boop. okay let's try try the peak see how far it spreads on this particular medium There's actually a term for that sound, and if you know it, comment below. Alright, let's try the pink. Or the purple. It's been a heck of a crazy week, guys. So intensely purple. I kinda like this tool. I think makeup brushes would do really well if you're into these kinds of things. Um, because the, I think they would last longer, you know, they're designed to, oh, not you, oh, you got that one, not this guy, Lot of dust on this at all which is kind of cool so if you got allergies I think this stuff would probably do you really well now just so you can see the difference from the previous we'll add that green from a previous box let's see if we can do just a good straight line Okay. 
we're gonna use a little makeup brush. I'm not sure if I like the makeup brush, but it's alright. Looks like somebody's dancing or doing kung fu. Alright, now let's try these particular ones. I'm sure these are just going to be just as awesome because this is what I used with this before. So you really need to go the distance here. Can. Let's see how well these cover up on top. So if you make mistakes, you can cover it up. And these things go quite a long ways. So you get a very varied uh, stuff. Let's see if we can continue the one on top. Maybe we can. Oh, this looks like a light pillar. Bob Ross painting kind of style in here. What is the prompt for this month? We usually have a prompt. Twilight is the problem. Hmm. Interesting. Wow. We need to come up with something twilighty. I don't know guys, I'm going to think of it and then I'll come back to this.
<laughs> um, I used up all my sheets. <laughs> this paper is really fun to use. Um, so here is the swatchy swatch, which was a lot of fun. Here is the first one. I really like that one. I don't know why. Kind of went with the night theme today, other than Twilight. And then the little mommy and baby elephant one. And then you can't do art without an eye every once in a while. I did use other products with this one. Um, the elephant, I used this black marker. I have no idea even where I got that marker. <laughs> and then I use uh, what I've been call, told these are called Conte crayons or something like that. They're just chalk. Uh, so similar consistency, just different shape. And, uh, oh, I do have one more left over. Yay. Because the paper's fun. But yeah, I really like it. I like how they blend. Um, obviously, I do not put a lot of emphasis and craziness into my art when I test these out. I just do quick drawings just so you guys can get an idea of what you can do. I do notice a lot of you guys are uh, coming up with some amazing art ideas and I think that's brilliant. Keep up the good work. Um, these pans are amazing. I really like these. Uh, as always, guys, box, you blow it away. And I love you for it. And uh, the tools are work. The only thing is these this type of brush here, if you look at it, it does get wore out really quick. And um, so you're gonna be using these heads a lot if you're gonna go really crazy into using them. I wasn't exactly rough, easy on them. I was pretty rough. And, uh, so, yeah. So, I quite enjoyed this particular box, like always. Very, very rarely do I have a box that I'm not super big into, but this one was another big one. And I also got to bring out my other previous pan, which I freaking love these things. And now I get to see how they can get put up like that. That's cool. Oh my goodness, if I can get them all lined back up. There we go. Nice little container. So, got one sheet left for me. These were pretty awesome too. They did go over all the other chalk. They can be... Uh, layer they can do all kinds of cool stuff I this is nowhere near as good as this uh, let's face it but that's okay the po part of this is just experimenting having fun making a mess and uh, and enjoying yourself and I did so sketchbox once again I really love this well done and uh, Thank you very, very much for another great box. And for you who've been watching, thank you for watching. And I hope you have a beautiful day.